No, unfortunately, the title of this video is not clickbait. I am selling my BMW M235i. Let me go ahead and explain. So if you follow me on Instagram at simplycarthings underscore, you guys have already known for some time now that my BMW M235i is for sale and that I am letting this car go. Now I haven't sold the car yet and for as long as I continue to have it, you guys can bet that I will continue to make awesome informative content with this car. With that being said, I'm gonna just delve into some quick specs about my car for anybody that's interested, how you can contact me if potentially maybe you're in the market for an M235i and would be interested in mine, which is for sale. And then I'll go ahead and explain why I'm selling the car uh, right after that. So to keep it short and sweet, this is a 2015 BMW M235i. The car features the technology package, the premium package, and the driver's assistance package. I have both the keys to the car, all the owner's manuals, I have service records, I have the original window sticker, and the car has stayed local to Southern California all its life. I'm the second owner, the original owner actually bought this car from BMW of Escondido in San Diego County, California, and the car has stayed local to that area basically all its life. Obviously, as you guys can see from the videos, this car is garaged every single day, every single night. Whenever it's basically at home, it's always garaged. Uh, this car has seen very little external moisture or continuous sunlight, and the paint is generally flawless. There are very few blemishes or dings on this car. The car has 58,600 miles on the odometer at the time of this video. It is a clean title with no accidents, and I am asking $19,500 for the car. So as I stated earlier, if potentially you're in the market for one of these M235s and you'd be interested in purchasing mine, feel free to shoot me a DM at simplycarthings underscore on Instagram and we can talk from there. But now I want to delve into why I'm selling the car. Now, so a lot of you guys, I think it's going to come as a shock, like you haven't had the car for that long. What's the deal? Well, to be honest, I've had this car for a little over a year and three months now. I actually picked it up at the very end of 2018 and to be honest the time has just flown by with my ownership of this car and i've absolutely loved it it's been so reliable i mean you guys have seen since pretty much right when i got the car up until present day i have not had any issues with it it's been fun to drive it handles so well it has so much power on tap obviously the car is stock now there is no tune on the car the exhaust has been completely reverted to stock as well. Uh, I did leave the aluminum charge pipe on there for the future owner just so that that preventative maintenance is knocked out of the way. Uh, oil changes have been done regularly, but aside from that, really the car is bone stock now. And to be honest, this has been the best car I've ever owned actually. It's been way better than my 335i, mainly because of the reliability. It's just been a durable car, it's been fun, it's been dependable, and it really has the same power and power potential as that M54 did to a large extent. And what I really loved about this car was the fact that it just handled so much better than the E92 335i. This chassis feels so much more planted, it feels so much more lightweight, it's very tossable and it's very fun. So I'm saying all these great things about the car, but why am I selling it? The only reason why I am selling the car is because there's another BMW that I've had my sights on for some time. And again, a lot of my Instagram followers know this already. Uh, I'm not gonna say which BMW it is because I want to keep it a surprise for the channel and I am not going to be giving any hints. This could be an older BMW, it could be a newer BMW, Chances are it could even be a slower car than what I have already, but I'm not going to say anything as to what I'm getting next, aside from the fact that it will be a BMW. And that is the only reason why I'm selling it. I've actually wanted this car for quite a long time now, and, and the time has finally come. I've really waited for a while. I've definitely analyzed market values. I've done thorough amounts of research. You guys know how much research I do on these cars. And it's finally time to hopefully, fingers crossed, pull the trigger on this BMW. And again, I can't say what it is, even though I'm dying to tell you guys, but hopefully you will all find out soon. The thing is though, I need to let the 235 go, unfortunately. And I thought, you know, it's only right that I inform you guys and keep you guys filled in on the content. Obviously, obviously it saddens me a lot to let this car go because you guys know how much I've enjoyed it. and. 
Again, there really is no reason for me selling it aside from the fact that there's just another BMW that I want. So I can promise you that this won't be the end of 2 Series content. Even after I sell this thing, I'll still love to feature all kinds of M240s and 235s and M2s and all that kind of stuff because this platform has really just generally stolen my heart because it's just so much fun, so mod friendly. And it just, it's been so great and dependable overall. Again, the car has 58,600 miles on the odometer. It's a clean title on the second owner. Uh, it's relatively stock. As you guys know, you guys know the history of this car. I mean, everything is documented on my YouTube channel. There really is nothing that I can hide uh, from it. So you know what the ownership has been like, and it's really been fantastic. And again, I'm asking 19,500 for the car. So if you're interested, the car is still available at the time of this video. Shoot me a DM on Instagram. Let's talk numbers, let's get my car sold because I really wanna jump into a new platform for you guys and continue to keep the ball rolling on Simply Car Things. This is something that's really been on my mind for quite a long time and it took me a while to make the video, but as I stated again, you know, I owe you guys this video and of course, it's just me being transparent and telling you guys what's going on with my car. So if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel down below. Appreciate the love and support as always, guys. Thank you so much for sticking with me on this journey. Appreciate you all. Catch you in the next one.